Morning. Morning. It's about ten past seven and we are up and on the trail. It's day five. five. We are going from Tindrum, Tyndrum to King's House. It's longer day, about 19 miles. Last night we stayed at Tyndrum, by the way. It was an okay place, probably wouldn't go back there. Um, it was alright. Yeah, it was alright. That's about it, really. We've got our tea, our apple, we've already had our porridge and I had a cheese and onion sandwich. He did and we are good to go. We want to get as many miles in as possible this morning and um, because it's going to be quite hot as well so that's why we're up quite early. So we're a mile and a half in so far and stopped far too much already it's just views are just beautiful there's a major a road run alongside us uh, and the train track but it's not used that much and uh, the views are just already absolutely beautiful so different to when we're down in the lock we really are now in the highlands I um, woke up this morning with, as I was going to sleep last night my feet swelled up loads my feet are so swollen this morning so it's a bit of a so now we feel really the skin feels like really tight and hot so I had to put ibuprofen gel on put it on again this morning so it's taken me a bit of a while to get started along with me other aches and pains this morning I always find the first like three miles of a day are like warm-up miles and they go really slow um, because I'm trying to get everything going after obviously aches, pains and stuff is a bit painful but I'll get there soon it's probably my fault that we're going a bit slow, sorry So we've just um, had a little break, I've had the rest of my tea and leftover bits from my pat lunch actually that I got in buying glass to, uh, the other day, that pat lunch was amazing. So I've just had a couple of yoghurts, a cereal bar, a biscuit, so we're feeling good. There was a particularly tricky bit on the way down, it was quite um, a lot of loose rocks and stuff, it was quite loose foot him. We went down that and then we had a little bit of a break. So that was nice. Drone boy got his drone out. There's a tracking shot or something he's been wanting to do for a while. So I don't know, it's about whizzing about now in front of us. Just me head in to be honest, but he loves it. It's <laughs> boys and his toys in it. Um so we're on a particularly gorgeous stretch at the minute. Um Hi, drone boy. We're on a particularly nice stretch at the minute. There is a road running alongside us, uh, but it's quite a while off. It's really beautiful. The views, honest to God, the views are just unreal. Um, insert drone footage here. <laughs> Quick time check, it's 25 to 9. We still haven't seen anybody yet. We're not really the fastest of walkers, so I think it's good that Emma pushed for us to get out nice and early. Because, uh, yeah, it just allows us to actually enjoy the day as well. But these, I know you've just said, but these views. Amazing. Just stunning.
Bridge of Rocky train station. Why are we going to go? How many miles is that in? Seven? Seven. We're going to stop here for about 15 minutes, so I need to take my boots off. That's around the back of Bridge of Orkey Hotel. And if you can see with the light, with those raw little chalets over on the side there. I don't think we could have pushed on to the Bridge of Orkey yesterday. Wow. So we're at the Bridge of Orkey and it's just absolutely amazing. I can't get over it. Definitely coming back here. Definitely, if not just to get a um, deck chair out and just sit on here and stare at the views all day with a bottle of rose eye. The, the Bridge of Orkney Hotel looks beautiful as well. Yeah, it does. Um, it's just gorgeous. We love it here. We have to keep pushing on though, unfortunately, because we've got a busy day ahead of us and this one wants to do some droning, so we need to make sure we're making good time. In Brown Hotel for a panini or a toasty. Yeah. And then push on. Isn't it a nice place to camp? And I didn't say that about a lot of things. Like I would never <laughs> camp, but it's a beautiful place to camp. I understand why people say there's a gorgeous wild spot um, wild camping spot by the Bridge of Orkey. Because it's just unbelievable. It really is, isn't it? Gorgeous. Little picnic tables here as well. As you can see. Wash your hair in the morning in the No, I wouldn't go that far, would you? No, because you'd probably get a frostbite. <laughs> Don't do what we did. That's where it comes off. And we were heading down that way. Whereas it's actually here. Oh. Well, that was the first on day five. That was the first time so far where we've nearly gone the wrong way. I just thought we'd go along the river. I you know. It's a nice the, day for the it. The trail doesn't go along the river. No. Don't go along the river. So when you leave the Bridge of Orkey you've got um, a nice couple of hills to get up and it comes as quite a surprise um, actually because you're just not expecting it and every time you think the hill sun there's another little one but it does bring you up to these most amazing views here the views are absolutely unreal We haven't mentioned it already i've just got to say the camaraderie the feeling of camaraderie on this thing is just brilliant it's just so nice as a far you actually care about people that like you've like seen like once or twice on day <laughs> one and two you're like oh i wonder how they're doing yeah you do there's, there's a father and son there they're doing it it looks like they're doing the same schedule as us and was it yesterday early in the day and we we're walking past them and the father was was off a little bit his boot was off and I just went past and I said, you know, is it a hot spot? And he said, uh, yeah, yeah, so it's just new socks. I offered him some of our zinc oxide tape, but he didn't need it. But they've just walked past us again today and it's just so nice to, to see them. They are, they're just, they're like little part-time friends along the way, aren't yeah. they? It's just really, really nice. Real feeling of camaraderie. This bit is a killer. We're not enjoying this bit. This bit, it goes down to Inveron and Hotel and it's... I just didn't expect this. Apparently, um, Devil's Staircase is coming up tomorrow. But I just said to Adam, I said, Jesus, I think feel like we've got it today. I feel like Devil's Staircase <laughs> has moved today. Or did, did we get it wrong? Oh, then we might have got it wrong. My knee is really sore. But then again, we're doing this eight miles in. 
Whereas with Stev Devil Staircase tomorrow, um, it's nine miles for the whole day, so hopefully it won't feel as bad as it would do. Uh, I'm suffering a bit with my right hand side of my knee, my right knee, the right hand side of it. The right side of it, yeah. Yeah, it's really kicking off now. You feel like you might have a blister coming up I on you? I feel like I might have a blister on my left foot, so we're stopping at Inveranen Hotel. Inveranen Hotel is a, looks a gorgeous place and everyone speaks quite highly of it. People say if you can afford to stop here, then stop here because apparently it's gorgeous, the reputation's really good. So we're stopping for lunch. They have a walker's bar, but it's currently closed due to COVID. But they do a takeout, um, like paninis and stuff. So we're going to rock up there and get some of that and have a good rest. Because we've done like eight hours on pretty much a biscuit and half a thing of porridge for me this morning. Eight miles. Eight miles? Yeah. Yeah, so we've done quite well. So we, we really need a good stop. We're going to take about half an hour at least, I think, and really just enjoy a decent stop. We've just been to the Inveronan Hotel. So last night when we were planning our day today, we looked on their Facebook page and it said from the 14th of September, the hotel is currently closed to... Non-residents. Yeah, uh, but they are doing a takeaway thing for walkers. So the walkers bar's closed, but you can go in and get like paninis and stuff. They and said they had toasties, like paninis, yeah. etc. So we messaged them to confirm it. Um, they come back to us and said, yeah, great. So we came round today, knocked on no answer spoke to some guy who was basically told us he doesn't he doesn't know anything about it and that he doesn't have facebook so we just left so we're just having I think he was food. a barman don't know who he was but he doesn't have facebook so he doesn't know apparently so we are um just leaving now and eating food from our sash happy days i forgot to say as well um the fellow who didn't have Facebook came back out and said to us he doesn't have paninis or rolls, but he has brown rolls, so what do you want? And I said, not, and we're all right. So, yeah. So, you know, before when I said I had a blister, I did, took my shoes off and right under my little toe, there was a blister. So give my feet a little wipe down, put zinc oxide tape on all my hot bits, hot spot bits, and then put a compede on my blister plaster and change my socks. Still really sore to walk on. Might have to stop again, I think, and take a look, see if the blister plaster's on right and stuff. It's just really sore, my feet are tender. It is worth it when you see these views. I mean, that was a hard bit of terrain, but look at these views. The terrain was like this, but worse. Um, it was a real steady incline all the way it up. It was, incline all the way up, but look at that. Drone boy strikes again. Oh, my back's killing. <laughs> Every move you make requires so much effort at this point. Drone boy. <laughs> Loves this drone. Where's it gone? No. There it is. Over there. The Finish this drone in. Old drone boy there. Isn't this path so hard to walk on? The rocks through it are just angled all the way, and you know they've been smoothed off over time, oh but God. they're just. It's so difficult, honestly. Beautiful views, like. 
Gorgeous views. Look at the views. Look at the views. Them views. It's stunning, isn't it? We've just stopped. It should never stop because it's hard to get going again. So many places we've read, so many places we've seen have mentioned these honesty boxes that they have, pardon me, out in the middle of like nowhere. And they've got like, you know, drinks, ice creams in a free little freezer box. I want one. Chocolate bars. What about? We're on day five where... We've seen five and one of them had been turned in, into, into a, a bin. bin. But none have we seen for like the last two days, have we? Well, the one yesterday was, was a bin. Yeah. We got a lot of money out from like cash points and got change. So we could make use of these honesty boxes. Where are they? We've made use of one so far. Yeah, pop-up one. That was really nice. Yeah, the pop-up one. That was on day one. Oh, crying out loud. That was on day one. And it took PayPal. <laughs> I'm going delirious a bit. We've literally taken to walking up on the grass verge rather than on there just to give our feet just a little bit of a rest. It burns your balls. <laughs> it burns your balls. I don't think I'm over speaking this when I say that this is such a toll on your feet you almost feel hobbled my feet are cramping like like there's no tomorrow but it's all part of the west island way You don't know the difference between a lock and a glen? No. It's the spelling. <laughs> it's half two and just a, just done a quick mileage check. Looks like we've done 15 and a half miles. Which not only means that that's the most we've done in a day so far, but also we should only have about three and a half miles to go. And uh, yeah. I mean, seriously, these views are just, that's what we keep on saying, but it's just stunning. It really is, and we've picked such a good day to do it. Everyone that we've walked past, everyone who's passed us, everyone said just how good the weather is for today. And it's just, I mean, just look at it. We're heading off into those conifers just down there. And hopefully, hopefully they're soon. So it's about 20 past three, 16 miles in. About another three to go, we think. Still on the same type of road. We're climbing, um, we're ascending. Hopefully there's no more ascending after the ascend, if that makes sense. Um, we're really struggling. Our feet are really sore and um, we're just getting kind of a bit tired now can't wait to finish to be honest for the day but on the positive side the views are still as glorious they haven't changed much the landscape is still the same but it's gorgeous and then we're talking about the glen or the lock uh, that's where it is and literally it's like half just snakes but it's, it's this style of it's this terrain so um really quite difficult but we've got our poles out because they give us the extra push we need and we do need to push right about now we just saw some local and he was like oh there's only like an hour to go i just never believed him when he's saying <laughs> an hour to go i'm like mate i've got google maps it tells me an hour and 25 minutes so yeah, push on. Um, push on, can't wait for a wine tonight. I'm having a large glass of wine. 
I'm having all the scotch in Scotland. <laughs> uh, ow. 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 I don't know if you can see it, it's just about there. That's King's House Hotel. This is literally the hardest thing I've ever done physically. The two of us are in bad shape. I'll update you when we get there. Just arrived at the bunkhouse, walking to our room, and they've just got Dia just chilling. What do you do? There's my. Hero, carrying the bags. So this is the hotel grounds, it's absolutely beautiful. We're staying in the bunkhouse, which is here. This is our home for tonight. So this is the bunkhouse. Um, we've kind of dumped stuff at the moment. Emma's just had a shower. But look at this. Well, we can see there's one deer right in front, then another deer to the left. And right beyond, there's another deer, just casually grazing. Such beautiful animals. Hello. So rude. In all honesty, I'm really struggling from today. Uh, we got in, dumped our bags. I laid down on the bed uh, and went to Lou. She came back to me absolutely shivering cold. Um, and quite hysterical actually. I'm trying to work it out. I don't think it's sunstroke because I don't feel nauseous. Um, we had uh, a fact from. But I mean, we're out in the open, but I made sure that we drank loads and loads of water, filled up when we could. Um, I think it's a mixture of exhaustion and hunger, to be honest, because after I've had a load of nuts, um, from our backpacks that have been being travel uh, transported ahead of us um, and the last few sweets I had in my day bag I am feeling uh, somewhat better so actually not being able to get anything at Inveron Hotel um, has really kind of it, it's really affected me um, not emotionally mm. on that stretch if you are doing the seven days and you're doing time drum to King's House Hotel uh, I def or Glencoe Ski Resort I would definitely 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 make sure you've got something high sugar high something whatever to power you through that if you don't manage to eat or even if you do so we've had a shower a bit of a rest this one went a bit funny <laughs> so we're going to get him some sugar as a gook. My feet are killing them oh, to be honest. I'm in. not feeling much better. Look at the setting that this hotel's in. That's just beautiful. Just unbelievable. We've got a table booked for half seven, so we're starving. Sincere apologies, we've literally just tucked in straight away. Emma's got a chicken pesto panini with chips and a large, this is large, what is it, Pandel. I've had a pint of coke to uh, perk me up. Might be having a pint, proper pint soon. And I've had chicken katsu curry burger with chips. Now you're messing to die for. Not being funny, but the staff in here are amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely staff, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I know I really shouldn't. But IPA, okay. Talisker, ten-year-old, a little jug of water. Mm. So just a little update. We've my feet are still swollen. Um, we've had a lovely meal. Uh, we've had a lovely few drinks in the bar. A couple of whiskeys for this one. A couple yeah. of wines for me been speaking to loads of people who we've met along the way and finally got a chance to learn people's names tonight and it was just so lovely. I think I mentioned it today about the camaraderie and yeah. it really is it's just we were just oh we, we'll just do our own thing and it's just yeah just we've met some really really nice people so along nice this. it really is. You learn a little bit of their stories there's the banter going on and mm. everyone's kind of everyone's willing each other on and it doesn't mean anyone anything to anybody else but you're like yeah you've got to do it come yeah. on come on five down two to go and it's just it's nice. Not that we're thinking of bailing but we're no. just we're, we're a bit battered after Saturday our feet are really buggers and 
he's feeling a bit and I'm feeling a bit and it's just like we're not making a promise to ourselves we're going to call it tomorrow morning we've booked breakfast at nine o'clock um so we're just going to see what happens we're going to eat breakfast and then just see what happens but we're not like we're not trying to save face you know or, or not and we we're, we're struggling um it is what it is does uber work out here <laughs> so we are out it's been a long day um we'll see you tomorrow for whatever tomorrow may bring <laughs>